Welcome to Robot Wars. 40 teams of brilliant homemade machines, hand-built over months, even years, only to be destroyed in seconds for our entertainment. Let's meet the teams in our first group battle. They are Hobgoblin, Behemoth, Cobra and Eruption. For the first group battle. For many Roboteers, this is the first time they'll see their own upgraded, overhauled and often newly built robots at full power. Three, two, one. Activate! Oh, goblins, egg beaters, scramble them out there. They are dancing a little bit, dancing around. Pushing there as well on Cobra. Eruption being chased across the floor by Behemoth with the mighty scoop. Probably in a little bit of trouble. Behemoth, you can see the power there. On the scoop, looking Eruption up into the air. Eruption can get up to 12 and a half miles now, just over there actually. That's been to get away. Cobra using that big chip of the fourth number. Oh, trouble. From the Hot Goblin at the moment, but this is a good, uh, a good contest out there between Fairmont Eruption and Cobra. Cobra between the two of them. Eruption lets a good machine here. Hot Goblin is driven straight into the wall, I think. No, we're gone. Fairmont, they've done enough. They might try and stay out of trouble now. Hit release. Oh, yes, it will mean this time as our deal has gone left. Down goes the pit. Cobra got themselves too tight with Killalots, and they've done so well. Cobra. Oh, Behemoth on its side. Cobra's okay. Live to fight another Behemoth. Killalots, it's a good battle, isn't it? Three way tussle, only two can go through. Like the look of eruption. Cobra. The shelf right. We're on the floor stage. Eruption just dodging those spikes. Behemoth, mighty, huge in the middle. So just controlling its own urges to get involved. Leaving Eruption to do the damage on Cobra. I'll see you, Aaron. Behemoth has gone into that area now to try and make him flip. Eruption couldn't do so. Eruption turned and got away using good speed there, good technique. Now perhaps they can flip Cobra and go Behemoth with a, a mighty shove with that. 7mm grade 5 titanium lifting scoop. Again, all the pressure on Cobra. Double attack, full double dots for the Cobra boys. Okay. Okay. Cobra coming back from the attack on Fairmont. A good spirit, the Cobra team. They've got some venom in those fangs. Behemoth wants to go in for the kill. This is a really good group back. One of the best we've seen. Oh, Biff! Trying to lift Cobra up and over. Good armament on Cobra. Hard to steal. He's done so much and they're still in there fighting. Taking a rush in there. Oh, shoot, it's cool. Wow! That was terrific. Eruption returned victorious to the pit for their two hour repair window. For an experienced team like Behemoth, it's an uneasy start to the competition. In our second group battle, we have Cherub, PP3D, Draven, and Push to Exit. Three, two, one, activate. This week we see PP3D's spinner here, very low ground, which is essentially the arena floor. It's a good onslaught area on by Push to Exit, the blue, on top of that arena. Raven, big machine. There's Cherub with the wings getting away there from Push to Hex. That's a great one as well. They're all mobile, they all look very threatening. Still hanging out that spinner. Very low to the arena floor, bouncing up there on that Cherub. Meanwhile, Draven nearly flipped by the floor flip. That's a good spell. Draven crumpled on the floor, basically, he's doing his back wise. Onto that 31 kilo spinning disc. Raven here, one of the favourites, and it's one of the favourites for this heat. Completely. Sorry. But very nearly caught there. And what? Punctured. Over out. Yeah. 
I think that puncture has destroyed them. In came shut down, came the mighty axe, out go Draven. Wow! The power of that axe is astonishing. Electrics, bang, on, finished. See what I mean about that spinner? Only low to the arena floor. Push to exit. Active. It's dead. It's not that, it's on, don't Are you? Oh, oh no, no, no. Who's active out there? Then he push to exit. Right, there was no clear winner, obviously, because there was no knockout, no immobilization. So it went through to a judge's decision, and the result has come through. The decision was unanimous, and the fight and the two points are going to go to Cherub, which means that you're going through to the final, guys. Do your little wing thing. <laughs> Hard luck, guys. Tonight's final is a fight of young blood. In one corner, 18-year-old Michael from Eruption has designed and built a robot capable of launching their rivals out of the arena. In the other corner, 13-year-old Toby from Cherub has proved himself to be among the best drivers in the competition. It's time to find out who goes through to our grand final. Three, two, one. Activate. Toby, no. Sorry, guys. We died in two seconds. <laughs> and that's the result. Job done. Made it look easy. The job was done so very, very <laughs> early on. Wow. That's the shortest fight we've ever we done. We flew. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was brave enough to attack, but foolhardy. A little bit naive, let's not say that because he's been brilliant, Toby. But from that moment on, you know what's going to happen, don't you? What's the eruption in the grand final? This is a robot that could win this series. The explosive power of the eruption. Okay, well, listen, we look forward to seeing you again in the final. Please give it up for eruption. Well done.